Swole Benji here. Today I wanted to show you guys my daily routine on Albion Online. That's right, not a real life routine, but an Albion Online routine. So first thing I do when I log in is I check my mailbox, see if there's any fan mail, and we got a few here. Uh, we got one saying that I should play with this guy. Cool. And then we got another one. Where's it at? Boltcaster help. This guy, he wants to know the key sequence for Boltcasters. I don't know what that means, but even if I could, if I wanted to reply to him, you know, help him out, oops, I'm not allowed to send mail. I'm muted for 179 years. It's a good thing I'm immortal because I can wait that out. All right, and then I check my sales. Uh, anyway, nothing really all that good. Uh, looks like uh, 21 days ago, 54 days ago. Uh, I've, I've already taken care of those. They're just old mail that I haven't cleared anyway. So with that out of the way, next thing, uh, let's see, check out English chat. Uh, we got to plant a little bug in there, you know, something to, tr just a little subtle troll like, um, like pro-choice or pro-life. And, uh, oh yeah, I muted and I can't say that. Um, so I can't stir the, the pot there. All right, so now I check my investments. Let's see how the Link skin is doing. It's at 9.6 million, so it's dropping. Santa Hat's dropping. Raven's dropping. Behemoth dropping. Ancient Int is up. Yeah, it's dropping, just to make sure. Yeah, this one's up a bit. Um, Pest Lizard's still down. That was last month's mount. It's down, that's down. They're all down right now, so investment's not looking too good. So at this point... Um, I would get my gathering gear up. Where is it at? I'd get my spirit boar because this thing has a really good passive that lets you hold 1,200 kilograms of weight, uh, even when you're not mounted. So that's really, really good. Put on an 8.3 bag. Put on an 8.3 boot. Not that boot. This boot. Because I have the carry weight on it. And then uh, I have about an hour and a half of farms to tend to. Now, you'll notice I don't have premium active. Oh, I also checked the gold prices. Gold prices are at an all-time low out of 24 days at 3,042. Uh, 3, with a high of 3,064. That's not enough to buy in. Uh, middle of the month will be cheaper, maybe, but also the patch drops in the middle of the month. So it'll be interesting. It'll be a, a good market study. So anyway, I would go to all these islands and uh, tend to the farms. However, because I don't have premium active, I'm not actually playing... Um, looks like the person I'm lending my farms to never replanted. That's a little weird. It's really weird. Okay. I guess he, uh, I don't know. Is he done using them? Anyway, I'm, I lent my farms out to a Chad Gamer. And if you want to be a Chad Gamer, you can go into my Discord and pass my questionnaire. And if you pass it and you're active... Then you too can become a Chad, and you can I can rent my farms to you for absolutely free. I know I say the word rent, I guess loan, like, hey man, use my farms while I'm not playing the game. Anyway, so I would do my farms, and then I would do my laborers, which are these guys, like, this is a mercenary laborer. I'm just trying to level them to tier 8, and then I take them out of the house. That's why there's only one left in this house. The other two leveled up. Oh, hey, look, it's a founder certificate. This, uh, you, you get one of these if you, uh, pl you know, played the game when it was pay to play. Yeah, I've been around quite a while. Anyway, uh, so I would go to my other islands. I also have guild islands, of course. The guild islands have laborers that I level and sell. So, for instance, I would go here, and I would collect all the books and give them new books. And these are blacksmiths. I would level them to tier 6, and then I would pick them up and then sell them in the market. Then, after doing all of that which is about 20 to 30 minutes, so we got an hour and a half on the farms, and an hour and a half, or I'm sorry, an hour and a half on farms and about 30 minutes on laborers, tops about two hours. Then it's time to go and do my fame farming. So at this point, uh, I'm currently leveling light crossbow, so I would slap on all that gear. I need to actually sell these boots because I have the tier 8.3s now. And uh, what are we using? We're using Stalker. Yeah, Thetford Cape. And of course we would have our 8.3 satchel so we can fame farm faster. We would use Cabbage Soup to counteract the self-ignition. And Healing Potions in case someone tries to gank me. And of course I would use my Gucci Super Lit Mount, which is the equivalent of driving 
uh, a Tesla or whatever the fancy pants cars that people drive, the Lamborghinis or I don't. What what is like the richest fanciest car that people drive in the in the real world? Yeah, that that's what this this mount is. It's fucking Gucci lit. It sparkles. It's really really overpriced at twenty million. Uh, I I know command mounts are more expensive. But anyway, I would I would put this on and then I would go fame farm. This would be my solo dungeons. I have a great axe set that I would use for uh, group dungeons, which I've made videos for. This is a mist piercer. I'm waiting for the price to. Oh, it did go up. All right, maybe I should sell. I bought this at 4.2 million on sale, so I can flip it now for 800k. That's not too bad. Um, and then if I got bored, where is my axe? Uh, is it in this one? Okay, yeah. yeah. So that, let me just do a little, do a little organize. And then after fame farming, if I got bored, I would go gather um, trees, stone, and metal while filming or filling up those journals. But at the same time, I would fill up mercenary journals while fame farming, and I would fill up uh, generalist trophy journals, depending on what tier they are. So these laborers are tier five. So I would put on my tier five books and fill up 320 of them. Uh, also, if you're wondering why I have bolt casters in this chest and old loot, this is a shared chest with my fans. Uh, mostly people that pass the Discord. They can come to my island anytime and equip. They can use these bolt casters on the house along with the druid robe and the hellion shoes. Uh, I have more in here usually, but I guess they're being used right now. I did have 7.3s, um, but people kept stealing them for some reason. I guess because they're worth multiple millions. Like, this is only worth a million. Uh, 7.3 is like 2 million, something like that. And I, I don't dare loan out 8.3s. Everyone just kept stealing them, so I, st I stopped doing that. But yeah, share chest. If uh, you join my Discord, pass the questionnaire, maybe you two can have uh, access to this bad boy. Anyway, so I would go do some gathering, but let me tell you about gathering. I, I don't really gather. Any like, I haven't, I haven't gathered in months. And the reason why is because SBI, or Stillfront, they no longer ban bots. So... Even at the dead of night right now, it's what, 7 a.m. UTC? Like, it's super dead right now. Um, even if I go out and gather, there are bots just everywhere, just massively farming and ruining the economy and lowering the price. And to me, I don't want to gather alongside bots. That's kind of a waste of time. And at this point, it doesn't even make enough money to be even worth it. So I would gather while uh, shitting up chat, but uh, as you can see, I can't shit up chat currently because I'm uh, muted forever. And uh, there's there's no communication from SBI. I've reached out to them at, through phone, through through writing, through email, like handwritten letters. The 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 one thing I haven't done is fly to Germany and knock on their door. <laughs> anyway, so I would go do that. Uh, you know, gather for a while, maybe do some dungeons. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I could do corrupteds, get killed by a speed hacker, and go to red zones. Get, get killed by that. There is a speed hacker that is just rampant right now. There's a speed hacker that is just on the loose, killing everybody. He kills. He's been killing hundreds of players every day, according to the kill log, and he's been doing it for about a month and a half now, and he's still not banned. It's the same guy. He's not like making a new account with the same name or nothing. He's just he just hasn't been banned. They don't care. So I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. That's my daily routine. That's what I do in this game. If you have any fun ideas of stuff I can do, oh, there is one other thing. Let me let me just uh, slap all of this. Well, I I can keep the gear on. It doesn't matter. One other thing I like to do is take the old battle mount out, right? These battle mounts that take forever to mount up on. Look how slow that bar is. Oh man, it's so slow. Anyway, um, so I take the battle mount, right? And then I flag up for PvP, and I go I go to everyone's favorite fish botting spots in the yellow zones. Cause I'm not gonna die with one of these on, and I just dump barrels on them, right? I just like this will kill bots, and you can also knock them back with this, and you could slow them down with this. Now, normally I wear gear uh, with with this battle mount, so my my mana is around 500 plus, and of course I would have more health and stuff. But yeah, that's that's what I do, and these things run at 120% speed. So yeah, if I get hit while sprinting, it'll slow down. But I can just use the barrels to knock back any attackers and then immediately sprint again. Like, there's no there's no gallop. I just hit a button to gallop. These things are really fun to play with, and they're really cool. Uh, this thing costs, like, 20 million. It's a crystal behemoth, the best you can possibly get. It's also the best battle mount, in my opinion, in the game. It's got the best stats. It's got, it's got abilities that can kill players because it deals damage to their max percent HP. If I chase a fish bot for, like, a couple minutes, or not even, maybe, like, 40 seconds, they die to this. They will die. 
and and that is just crazy right i would hate to see like a whole team of people running with these it's just so scary uh, anyway i'm soul thanks for watching be a bro stay swole make sure you return your shopping carts i'll see you in the next one